As you just mentioned, this is a recovery effort, and officials say while they want to help bring some closure to the boy's family, they say their number one priority right now is making, sh making sure everybody in the search is safe as possible. We've been talking about it all morning. The big issue this morning is the fog. Come over this way. You can see that here at our uh, field light. We've kind of set it up in such a way just so you can see how thick the fog is this morning. Obviously, with all that fog, there's reduced visibility for those crews out on the water. My guess is those search crews probably will not go back out onto the water until this fog lifts. So crews, they're basically on standby this morning. They're telling us at this point it depends on the forecast, river conditions, and the overall risk for dive teams. Eight-year-old Brian Morales was swept away in the fast-moving water Monday after falling into the Great Miami River. He and his family, they're out fishing for the Labor Day holiday. Crews have been using search dogs and boats equipped with sonar trying to find his body. Now, we've been in close contact with search leaders since this story broke. We've been following this from the very beginning. And, of course, if there are any new developments, we sure to bring those to you both on air and online at WCPO.com. Reporting live, Zach Pitts, 9 on your side.